As longtime viewers might be aware, I'm a big advocate for the workflow advantages of single dosing, even going so far as to suggest that you single dose into your Breville Barista Express or Barista Pro machines. And while I still 100% stand by that statement, I'm here to acknowledge that it's not exactly a perfect system, but also to offer a solution. First, let's quickly discuss why single dosing into the stock Breville grinders is not exactly ideal. And that is simply because they are not designed to be zero retention grinders, meaning that there's lots of little spaces within the grinding chamber and the burrs themselves for grinds to collect. This means that each time you grind, you get some of the grinds that were stuck in there along with your fresh ground beans. From my experience, this exchange of new and old beans within the grinder is actually relatively consistent on the Breville machines, which is what allows you to single dose and still get out approximately the same weight that you put in. But having old stale grinds in your shot is certainly not ideal from a taste perspective or when switching to a new coffee or grind size. Ideally, each time you go to grind, you would purge out those old grinds by simply grinding for a few seconds, but this is a little bit wasteful. The alternative is to make sure that there are no grinds stuck in there in the first place. To do this, many high-end single dosing machines use some form of bellows to make sure every last ground leaves the burrs. And now, someone has fabricated one that fits on the Breville Barista Express, Barista Pro, Barista Touch, and even the Smart Grinder Pro. It fastens easily into the existing grinder opening and even comes with two lids for if you want to leave the rubber bellows attached or if you want to take them off when not in use. Now this is still a relatively new product, meaning that it's a bit tough to come by, but I'll continuously be updating the link in the description below with the best and easiest place to buy. I've spent the whole morning grinding coffee to determine how well the single dosing hopper actually performs, and here's what I found. On average, the Breville grinder retained around one gram of coffee with the standard hopper attached, except for in one instance where it held on to almost two grams. This means that on average, you're drinking one gram of stale coffee in each shot that you make, unless of course you're brewing back to back shots or you purge out the old stuff first. With the single dose hopper, the grinder retained only 0.2 grams of coffee on average, which is very impressive, but also not really surprising when you see how much coffee it forces out after the grinder is already stopped. The price that they're asking for this little accessory is a bit steep at the moment because they're so hard to come by. But again, I'll continuously be updating the link down in the description as they become more widely available and hopefully a little bit cheaper. But if you're someone who is currently single dosing into a Breville machine, this is a great option to consider to squeeze out a little bit more performance and ease your workflow from your machine. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.